Holy smokies, it ain't no jokes. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. What a freaky Friday in the crypto market. It started off with a drop. It started off with a pop, then a drop, then a pop, then a drop. <laughs> it was very weird. There was a live stream with 600,000 people. They were watching what was going on with the guy that was rambling on that was losing $200 million <laughs> live stream. Um, it was just a wild day uh, full of emotions. Um, we're going to talk about the crypto market and where we currently are uh, in, in the phases, right? We've been talking about reaccumulation, post to having, where we are, where we're going. Um, we'll do some analysis there. Talk a little bit about what happened today, job reports and all that, how that affected. Um, if you saw my video before where I was walking, I was, it was just a little bit that was like me uh, post the drop <laughs> and, and meal was over. So I was like, okay, listen, guys, the crypto market just dropped. It's crazy here. Lots of noise. I got to go outside uh, and, I'll, and we'll look at the, you know, I'll show them the graphs later and we'll talk about the news. So uh, if you saw that video and you're coming on this video as well, I really appreciate you. Um, we're going to talk about, of course, our favorites, Bitcoin, Shiba Inu and the rest. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good, good vibes. You know, on a day like this, we need some good vibes, right? Smishy, smash that like button. Listen, the likes have been down and the price of Shiba Inu has been down as well. You know what the scientists say. There's a straight correlation between the amount of likes on my videos and the price of Shiba Inu. You can't deny, you can't, you know, say no to the scientists, right? It's science. So you got to smash the like, but let's try to get a thousand likes on this video. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to, you know, be uh, optimistic that we can get that goal. Of course, there's no real correlation between the two. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, when, when things are popular, uh, there's more likes. <laughs> um, I know that these days are very annoying, right? I know that some of you got stop loss. Some of you got liquidated on in your leverage positions, probably. Um, some of you bought yesterday and today it dropped and you're getting sick of it that the market is going up and down and up and down and up and down. You want just want to take your phone and throw it at the wall. Right? Um, but I assure you that these times pass. And in, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, we'll be looking back and we'll be, it could be, you know, uh, more than that. Right? Don't, don't, don't catch me on the two weeks, three weeks. We'll be looking back and we'll remember when we were, right? Remember when, remember when I caught my, huh? I don't, I don't know the words to the song. <laughs> um, but, you know, when I look back at how in the beginning of February, we were like, oh, it's we're stuck, we're not moving. And then kaboom, right? Things started moving. So because we were post-January and there was the ETFs, remember? And then there was like this lull and we're like, oh, nothing's happening. And then boom, kaboom, right? So... I'm, 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 I'm optimistic that we're going to see something similar here, right? Um, so it's going to be very interesting. So beautiful smile, smishity smash that like button. And because you've been so patient uh, listening to me rambling on for th at least three and a half minutes already, I'm going to give you a very important gift, right? The Shiba Shake. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a sea of red, right? Uh, minus 10, minus 11, minus 11, right? Uh, the only one here, breadth is 22 and a half still, because uh, it was up big. Uh, but you can see, you know, uh, and Bitcoin and Ethereum, by the way, held pretty nice. We'll, t we'll talk about that. Uh, Solana 5, XRP 5, Dogecoin 7 and a half, Shiba Inu 6.3, Avalanche 7, Chainlink 6, 7, Polkadot. So, Polygon 8.7, 6.5. So, yes, Shiba Inu had this, you know, flash crash here. Uh, it went, of course, like it always does when there's these flash crashes, um, to the support, right? Uh, it jumped off the support. Uh, and, you know, if you did buy the dip, right? Uh, and I know it's very hard to buy the dip because it's uh, stressful and you're like, oh my God, it's, it's dropping. You'd be up 10% on the last uh, four hours, you know, not too shabby. If it's a leverage position, you'd be you'd be up a lot. But I, I understand someone that would be, you know, timid to, to open up here. And usually when these are like the, the, the best times to do that. But 
it's the hardest to do it, right? Uh, it's, you know, first of all, you got to be in front of the computer exactly when it happens, right? Uh, which, which doesn't happen. Like, this is a 10-minute span here, right? And it was dropping, and then it was like, oh, it's coming back, ooh, and then it dropped again, right? So even if you open, like, a, a long position here, you could have got liquidated just on this, this movement here if you were high leveraged, right? So it's very hard. This is a very hard movement to catch. Um, but, right, if we go and we look at Bitcoin, it's just a snug under 70,000 still. It, of course, also, like, like we talked, uh, when we have these, these dips, it supported on the 68,800, which is the old all-time high from 2021, which we have been seeing that is a, is a very strong resistance level, right? Um, um, we, we did have, you know, big droppers, like, like Floki was down 50%. There was like, there was you know, big, big movers, but, you know, in general, only 3% for the total crypto market. So yes, altcoins were dropping uh, strong. We'll get to that in just a second. But in, like, because of the dominance of Bitcoin, right, which uh, you can see here, when, when, when the sell-off started, the dominance popped, right, because Bitcoin was holding and altcoins were dropping, right? Um, we did open the day on a bad job report. Right. And if we go and this is like, you know, it feels like it was a while back, right, because <laughs> a lot has happened today. Um, but this was in the morning. Right. And you can see as soon as the job report came out, um, it, it, this was here at 3.30 my time, which is uh, 8.30. Yeah. Eastern time, seven hours back. Um, boom. Right. And so, you know, everything dropped on this. Right. It, and it was interesting because it was almost at 72,000. I told you this in when I was walking, it, it dropped 2% here, right? A 1300 uh, drop. And this was the, you know, the resistance that we were looking at. Sorry. <laughs> I had a, a bodily function happen to me. <laughs> um, bless me. Um, you can see, right, that spike that came out here um, was interestingly enough, uh, now that I'm looking at it, right, um, was actually exactly on that uh, level, that same level. Wow. Okay. Um, which was the 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 initial short high that happened here, right? This was like a minute or two where it popped up and then came right back to 71 and a half. But that was actually local high, uh, and it stopped right exactly on that note. Uh, and then, like two minutes later, there was the the oh, oh, it was right at that. Wow! So it popped up right right to there, and then the news came out, boom, and came back down. So somebody was manipulating it right here, right? It was pushing it right to that zone and manipulate. This is still beautiful to see that it's being manipulated. Now listen, right? <laughs> I saw the, in honor of the Roaring Kitty live stream today. This is how he opened up the. Live <laughs> like he was something happened to him after three years like he's uh injured right um this was him three years ago and this is him now um your first week in crypto versus one year in right uh and days like today are days like you know that that put you in this kind of situation right <laughs> right um but it's true right um, um and this is you know blatant manipulation but you know it could be that we wake up tomorrow and we're back we're back here right um so i'm not ready to close the door on the potential of this breaking out here and us actually entering um the parabolic zone uh but red capital updated us and he said bitcoin has rejected from the range high of the reaccumulation range history continues to prevail um, usually right the timeline is that it doesn't break out in, in this time frame, will it happen? Uh, we'll see, right? If we look at the stochastic flow, by the way, if you remember uh, a few days ago, we talked about how we were at the bottom, right? And now we are close to the top. So um, we talked about this. Once we hit the top of the stochastic flow, we could see a pullback. Uh, it happened, you know, a little bit prior. Um, so it could be that, you know, someone's tracking this and someone manipulated because when everything sells off all together at the same time, it's, manip of course, it's manipulation, but it's algos, right, that suddenly start selling off. We hit a certain level, uh, you know, 70,000 and then boom, right, it 
dipped under 70,000, all the algos start selling across the board and it affects everything. And of course, then you have um, the liquidations uh, and you can see uh, 414 million dollar liquidations, mostly on others, right? So it's not Bitcoin. Usually Bitcoin is number one. Here it's others. Um, I don't know what others means, <laughs> right? Um, but I'm guessing it's not, you know, these, um, what's others? Hmm, interesting. I have to, I have to, um, research that, uh, but it's others and Ethereum, Bitcoin and Solana are the three other that, uh, after that. So can we see from here? I don't know if it will, uh, allow me to, to do where, what's the biggest one, right? I'm guessing it's just an accumulation of everything else that's not here on the map. Um, so very interesting, very interesting. Um, of course, we have Capo, which is, he's historically a bear, but it says strong sell-off into support. Alt suffered more, but it looks like a shakeout, to be honest. If these support level holds, we should be bullish continuation soon. So like I said, it, the, the bleeding stopped pretty fast and we came back. So yes, we're down, but the bleeding, bleeding stopped, right? Um, so it's going to be interesting. And this is another uh, data that was saying uh, long proxies, our time has come. The data says it uh, it all, right? And this is, you know, previous uh, from um, 2021 and similar movements here and similar data on the bottom. So again, it could be. Um, and, you know, the job reports was the job reports. Bad job report could actually be good, right? Although it was a sell-off. Um, because it was kind of weird, right? It, it looked like the job wasn't that great. Um, but you can see that full-time was actually down 625, part-time was up. So that kind of, um, that was, it was kind of a, a what's the word, uh, a trick here. And also native-born was down 663 and foreigners were up 414,000. So it's kind of a weird job report. Um, and the Fed doesn't want a strong job report, by the way, because if it is strong job market, that means that the economy is still strong and that inflation is probably not going to come down. Even So um, they won't reduce the interest rates, but we're currently seeing a 98% um, chance of interest rates staying where they are. Uh, this is coming, of course, on June 12th, which I think is... Uh, It's always Wednesday. Wednesday, it's because it's already after 12 a.m. So I was like, today's the 8th, it's Friday, but so today's actually Saturday right? <laughs> for me. Um, talking to you from the future. <laughs> um, it seems like it's going to be 97.8% um, for interest rates to stay where they are. We'll see. We'll continue to track that. We'll probably see the greed index uh, drop a little bit here in an hour and 43. Uh, we'll continue to talk about that and track that and, and see what happens. You know, it could be by the time you're watching this video, you know, we're, we're back here, which is which is still down on the day. But, you know, that would be, you know, it's coming up, right? Uh, I'm coming up, right? Um, it's about three, three, four percent from here. So it would be interesting. Um, if you didn't get wrecked today <laughs> right? uh, and you're interested in continuing to trade uh, with Margex and with leverage, the competition is still going on, uh, so you can still claim that book of meme. Um, so check it out in the description down below. Please, please, please trade responsibly. Don't forget to smash the like button. Of course, not financial advice. You should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.